miss you. For whatever angle you want on it. Ah. Right, these tools are the best thing ever invented in my eyes. Going down here. So I'm going to put the phone down because I need Mrs. Whisperer. Ready to rock and roll. It creates a lovely thick layer. And then what you want to do. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah! Mr. Miyagi. Here we go again then. I said the problem was going to be bigger. Bang on, mate. Thank you very much. No worries, oh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna get stuck into that. I need to get my drain lines in first. Ah! Mr. Miyagi! Basically, what it is, guys, I've had someone on the channel slagging me off, giving me a load of abuse. My wife's just going, James, stop talking about it. Just stop talking about it. But I want to make it dead clear. The bottom drain is the most important part of a pond build. Because if that goes wrong, everything needs to come out. So I highly recommend, if you're going to do it properly, that is the most important bit. And if that's all you can afford to start with, then that's all you do. There's a few people out there giving me a bit of stick. I apologise about the little rant. I'll leave it there. Any haters? Boom! What have you got yourself into, Mr. Rabbit? Right then, Mrs. Whisperer has been super busy. Two of the cups being sent out to people that sent me cups. But yeah, they're all being picked up in a minute. As we say... That's the hammer then. So just going through my bits, before I go ahead and lay this bottom drain, I'm just making sure I've got everything that I need. I'm short by 190. And boom, we have another cup. Happy days. Massive shout out to Koi Soldier, Lee Adfield. Thank you very much, Lee. James, why does it look like you're getting bigger and bigger every time I come out here? That's what happens. But yeah, basically what it is, I am going a bit bigger because the end of this wall actually finishes here. So what my plans are is to bring the pond up to here. I've got to knock this concrete out, get a disc cutter in a minute, get rid of that. I'm going to get my timber in. I'm going to square it up. Keeping things clean, he says. It's clean. <laughs> That's, There's that is super clean mud. compared to some people's <laughs> pond builds, love. The Whisperer keeps it clean. Yes, take your boots off before you walk in my house. Yeah, oh yeah. Try not to walk on all the mud you've already caused. You know what though, this here slows it up guys, because Mrs. Whisperer is like, take your boots off, take it off. I've got content to make for people, I've got a pond to build for people. I can't be keep taking my boots off every two minutes. See, look, now I've got to put my boots back on. You see this bit of timber? Good old Facebook marketplace. Someone finished a project, wanted it gone, complete free. Only downside, I had to walk down through town with a 5.2 metre length. Who gives a monkeys? I'm the Goy Whisperer. Right. So I got the saw back out. It'll be alright then. I would help by recording. So I gave myself an extra foot, nine foot an end. Well, you've given yourself an extra couple of foot since you last done it. I know, but I'm just thinking nine foot on my side. Don't we want it level with the shed? Yeah, that's why I want it level with the shed. Yeah. So you want it to start where your pond starts? Yeah, but I've got to remember this four inch gap back there. So eight foot four. One, two, three, four. Don't need to get that over if I can. I'll get that over in a minute. But that's where I need to be. Eight foot six. Right then, I ain't had this old girl out for a while. Look out now then. Get on, Mrs. Whisperer. 5.2 metre length. Be careful with that fish tank. She said, I can do that. I can do it. Well done, sweetheart. Take it there. I will. I just wanted to see how long you'd say before you asked. Three square, babe. Beautiful. Lovely. Check this out. lovely and plum so it's a different way of doing it but i'm decided to do it this way make my frame i've decided to make my frame square i'm not a builder i'm a butcher and um I'm f i find last time when i've done this measuring your three four five rule where 
three inches, four inches, five inches across, get it dead square when I build the pond, when I block the pond. It worked for building this pond, it's gonna work for building this pond as well. So I've decided to make the frame, I'm gonna level off the frame, I've got some spare bits of timber, I'm gonna whack into the ground, and then I'll bolt that against the side of this, or screw it against the side of this to level up my base, and then I can concrete. This back corner, I know I'm gonna to have to cut out this section, so I can get my drain line in, but what I'll do, I'll peg it there, and I'll peg it there. Let me get it all put together, and I'll show you what I mean. But I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it, when I'm doing it. There she is, lovely and square. Hold it nice and firm. And talk about reused stuff, look. Second-hand screws, look. Double check, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful! Decided as well, you like to come down here, sweetheart. Decided to leave the gap behind the back of the pond because what that will allow me to do is that I can put a blue water pipe drilling through here, blue water pipe through. I can put my electric cable through. Just popping over to our uncle Derek's, and um, well, he's got all the tools. I borrowed them last time, I'm gonna borrow them this time. I feel my heart erase, so catch me if I fall. Right then, so the tools are back out. Everyone remember this bad boy? <laughs> Can you remember this one as well? This one hasn't been used since the last time I used it. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to take this section out, see what's underneath. I can't remember what I put in there. And um, yeah, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> And there's a lot more to come off. <laughs> oh, I've missed you. Oh, I have missed you, sunshine. <laughs> I've missed this bad boy. Through it. Just scrape some earth out from that top edge to get that end down to level out. How's it going then, love? Getting there. I just need to take a bit of earth out of here to get it level because I decided to keep that bit of concrete in there. I'm going to put all my stakes in, get it level. I'm going to whack up some stakes in a minute. I've got all that concrete out, lovely. Full valve will fit in there, an absolute treat. <laughs> Quick and easy way, if you haven't got any pegs to make your frame, just split a bit of timber in half, whack yourself a 45 or whatever angle you want on it, and bosh. Then we go round and level it all up. Ideally, you want to brace your corners if you can. And you can do it two ways. I'm not a builder, I'm a butcher. So some people like doing it on the outside. So you can take the pegs back out and unscrew them. I can't be bothered. I'm going to concrete over the top of them. They'll be fine. One less job you have to do. So for the people who want to try this yourself, make yourself a square frame, and this is a DIYer, not a professional. All I do, whack your spirit level on it, lift it up until you're plumb level, he's singing right there, and then just to support that, hold it in place, just whack a screw in it, happy days. Do the same to this side, and then check your corners. Make sure your spirit level is nice and clean on the bottom. Same as what you're putting your spirit level on. It needs to go down slightly. 
Beautiful. See that look? Get in there. That's how you that's how you do it guys. No either side of the line, you need it bang on the middle. If it's bang on the middle, you get your base right, the rest of it's easy. Right, these tools are the best thing ever invented in my eyes, the multi-tool. So what I'm doing now, now I've got all my frame all pinned in, I'm happy with it, it's secure. What I'm doing, I've got to notch out this little section so I can run my four inch line in and then I can just T piece it up, get it sat in situ, ready to rock and roll. This back area, I'm just gonna fill with gravel so there'll be a little bit of a drain off there. Underneath this is a soak away. So before the line goes in, I'm gonna dig out a hole, connect to the soak away. All of the waste water that I have from this pond will go directly into the soak away. That's the plan, that's the idea. Hopefully it turns out all right. But yeah, let's get this cut. Just have a bit of a skim fade going on at the same time. How about that? Thank your mother for the multi-tool. Bosh. I just wanted to angle that slightly just so I know I had plenty of clearance for the four inch pipe. Whew. No rest for the wicked and all that lot. I'm digging out a trench just so I can get my bottom drain lines in. I can always add to it, but I can't take it away. And what you want, you want it sloping back. Because it's going to be a gravity fed system, you want the, the four inch pipe sloping back towards the ball valve. So when you think you've got rid of enough earth, you get yourself another wheelbarrow load. Right, so I always like to do my drive bits first on my, uh, get the drain dead where you want it. Make sure it's level. All I'm doing with them is just using them as a marker. Just so I know where to put the drain back if I lift it out. Square flat edge. Getting the bottom drain lines ready. Bit of sanding. I just like, I've always ever done this, it's down to preference. I just like taking the sheen off of it. And then uh, I do that to both sides, front and back. And then I clean this up, whack it in. But I'm all cut to size. Right then guys, this is where you gotta just go for it. where the scary bit is. I always like doing both sides of my pipe and I'm not scared of putting loads on. So if you get that done like that, push it together, quickly, whack it together, give it a twist, wash, and hold it back down. Let all that glue sit together and create a real thick bead all the way around the bottom drain. The bottom drain is the most important part. It doesn't have to look neat. What it has to do is do the job that it's meant to do and not blow and not leak. So as you can see, where I put my bead round, it creates a lovely thick layer all the way round. Right, so one quick tip I wanna give everyone if you're thinking about doing a bottom drain with pressure pipe, First time round I was shitting my pants, thinking if I mess this up, the pipe fittings, what it costs. Yeah, I was a bit nervous to be fair. This time round I know what to do. So basically get yourself a nice structure, and something laid out nice and flat. Put your 90 on first before you do anything else. Put your 90 on first, because that's easy, straight on, bosh. Then put a spirit level on the end of your 90, and then come down to the drain itself. And what you want to do is put yourself a mark on the drain and a line up through the drain. So what you want to make sure that you've got is a pressure behind the back of the drain so you can push on this pipe and you can double check with your spirit level. You've got about three seconds. As Soon as you push that in, you ain't twisting it soon as it's in. So as soon as you push it in, you've got about three seconds. Ideally, have two of you do it. So make sure you're dead level back here before you do anything, before you do your line. Soon as your line's dead level, you know where your line is, and that's the line that you're pushing in against this line down here. 
But I'm going to put the phone down because I need Mrs. Whisperer to hold the drain because it's most importantly I've demonstrated how to do it. It just needs to be done properly. Right. So we're getting the first mix on. All the pipe work cleaned up. We got the young one here. So can you just put half of a full bucket of um, cement out there, please? Right. Right, so all the bottom drain lines are all in place. We're going to level up this pipe in a minute. We're slightly a fraction off, but only by a fraction. If you have a look closely, it's not bad. I'm happy with that. It's good enough for me to do a dance. So all we're doing tonight is just securing the bottom drain ready for the rest of the base to go in in the next couple of days. This is just to keep the bottom drain in place, level it up. And uh, part of the reason why I'm doing it tonight is just to make sure I'm completely happy that it's level and it stays level. Apologise about the noise. But can't do much about that, I'm afraid. So yeah, we're making progress. Happy days. I want to end the video here. I want to say thank your mother for the rabbits. I want to say thank you everyone for watching. I'm only ending the video because I can continue to work, but I can't film it to show you guys. Because to be honest with you, I could crack right on and get all of this base put in tonight, but slow and steady wins the race. That being said, if I don't see you in a week, I'll see you for a window. Thanks for watching the video. Remember to like the video, share the video if you can. And on that note, thank your mother for the rabbits.